49ers are heading, heading to Philly for America's yep. Game of the Week in an NFC Championship rematch. Last year, yep. obviously, Brock, Brock Purdy got injured at the beginning of the game. Christian McCaffrey yep. ended up being quarterback at one point, actually. But yep. uh, maybe if Brock Purdy would have finished that game, you would have given him credit this year. So if he wins that game, if he goes and he beats the Eagles, will you finally give him his credit, or will you need to see I, more in the postseason? So, again, I, uh, guys, I, the, this Oh, if, is, he's, if he's trailing to the Eagles, folks then you'll give him. Folks just keep asking me the same. First of all, I do not feel... I, and I hate to be a broken record on this. We are, on first things first, we are promoting this football game. America's Game of the Week. Going to be one of the most oh, watched games of the year. Do you know what I'm going to say, DeMonze? Yes, I know exactly watching, what you're yeah, going to you, say. You, okay. <laughs> so, on TV, when we have a big football game, they show you the games that are being played, and then the marquee game on the list, like here's the one o'clock games, here's the four o'clock games, America's game of the week, Niners, Eagles. And whenever we have that, like tonight, Amazon, if they're running promos, you're going to see Dak and Gino. And when the other, you know, last week when it was Jags, Texans, you saw Trevor and CJ Stroud. And it's like, these are the stars. Come watch them for the Niners game. Niners Eagles, it's Jalen Hurts on one side of the graphic and Christian McCaffrey on the other. And you can say, Nick, that's ridiculous. You're being unfair. That's a great. It is a data point that even the graphics producers like, hey, who's the star of the Niners? Who's who's the uh, what's the we yeah, almost like always Kelsey's put quarterbacks on over Patrick on, Mahomes. Never had you that time. I'm telling you that's correct. I'm telling you maybe maybe a Taylor Swift related one. I'm telling you when we that we when we promote Giants games last year and it was <laughs> Saquon or Daniel Jones, they would put Daniel Jones on the graphic. You know why? Tie goes to the quarterback, but this ain't a tie. So we would the point I'm trying to make is we would put these graphics up and talk about Jalen Hurts and Christian McCaffrey are the stars, and then the question we would ask on the TV show is, is Brock Purdy the MVP of the entire league? <laughs> Me not wanting a guy who can't even make the, the sizzle reel Yo, graphic for so his team. So if he wins this game versus Philly, maybe they'll put him on the graphic next time. Question is, if he goes out there and he beats Philly, are you then going to give him credit? Because Philly is clearly a good team. I've already given him credit, and I don't doubt that he can beat good teams. That's the other thing. People are turn are making my Brock Purdy critique into what they want it to be because my Brock Purdy critique was so 100% spot on that now people are trying to straw man against it. They're like, well, will you at least say he doesn't suck? I don't think he sucks. <laughs> well... Will you will you admit he can beat good teams? Never said they can't beat good teams. Nope. My Brock Purdy <laughs> critique is very, very simple. I question his ability to play at a high level if all of the Avengers are not there with him, and I question his ability to play at a high level if the Niners are trailing and the defense is not first and foremost worried about Christian McCaffrey, they are worried about him throwing. That's what I question. And unfortunately for him, he has had three games this year where those circumstances have popped up and he's 0 for 3. I do not question his ability to play great early in games against just about anyone. He rolled Dallas. That was impressive. It didn't answer... I, I, I'm running out of analogies to make for these these things. It's like if if my worry oh, about uh, uh, the – if when DeMonte moved to L.A., I was like, man, I'm really worried about him. And I wasn't. I'm just going to – I don't want to use another car analogy. I'm really worried about him Monday mornings oversleeping for work. And then – Thursday, he calls me. It's like, oh, you still worried? I got in on time today. I'm like, I wasn't worried about Thursdays. I was worried about Mondays. 
And then in Sunday, he's like, hey, in the office doing extra work. You still worried about me? I was like, I wasn't worried about you not showing, doing extra work. I was worried about a very specific thing. And then if the first Monday he's got to be there early, he sleeps, oversleeps. And the second time he oversleeps. And the third time he oversleeps. But then he doesn't have to be in early Monday again for six weeks. Like, oh, you still worried about that old shit? Yeah, I am. Because the three times you had the opportunity, you you failed. Like, that, that's just where we're at. Wait, So, so I don't know what people want from me. It's going to be, I think the weather is going to be bad in Philly. I think it's going to be raining, windy, and all that stuff. Yep. I know other quarterbacks yep. in the league struggle to play in the rain. Um, mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's hard. Like keep control of the ball and stuff like sure. that. Is that yeah. does that add any extra incentive? Well, I think that's the the only thing that the weather sloppy games typically. If you're an underdog, Lawrence, you would man, rather yeah. the conditions. The oh oh that's a, yeah Trevor does by the way that's a fair indictment of him. Yeah, Trevor does. Yeah. I want one other thing. I don't even want to talk about the weather. I don't care. We'll see. Like if <laughs> if you are a sizable underdog, you want bad conditions because it adds variance. Neither one of these teams are a sizable underdog. They're both you know what I mean hard nosed teams. I find I I don't think I think if either of these teams pass rush doesn't get home, they're in trouble. Because the Niners secondary with Hufanga injured can get got, and we know the Eagles secondary can get got all year by just about anybody. What I do want to say is, for folks thinking that I'm being picking on Brock Purdy, I want to be very clear. I feel not to the same level, but very similarly about Tua. That Tua's numbers tell me he is a great player. And I do not know that that's true. He might be, but I have real questions about how much of Tua is the system, Tyreek, and the weapons. And so when I'm doing, like, MVP candidates, I think it is very, very difficult, almost impossible, to have multiple league MVP candidates on the same team on the same side of the ball. So for the Niners, their MVP candidate, in my opinion, is Christian McCaffrey. And for the Dolphins, their MVP candidate is Tyreek Hill. And if we want to make it just a quarterback award, that's fine. But then it has to go to the objectively, no doubt, great quarterbacks. And I don't believe Brock Purdy is that. We'll see. We will see. And again, people are like, so if they blow out the the Eagles, that won't answer your questions? No, because that's not the question I have. I do. My question is not, are they talented enough to blow out really good teams? We know they are. And guys, we'll I have been you can say I'm stubborn. I've been nothing wait. if not consistent on wait, this. Wait, Go that's ahead. that's that's not that's I didn't think that was fair. Do they if they blow out the mean? Eagles, it's not like they have the tendency like look at the look at their losses this year. If they blow out the Eagles, that's huge. Like that's that's not just something that they've just done all the time. It's the Eagles, the type of season that they're having this year. Like that's I did, that's not it's not it, fair. I I no no no. I will oh you can say it's unfair. Let me make sure we're understanding each other. Blowing out the Eagles would be a wildly impressive San Francisco 49ers accomplishment. Blowing out the Eagles would not necessarily answer my questions about Brock Purdy. I do not I do not doubt that he can play almost perfect football when everything is rolling right for them. But because, and call it the scars of Jimmy Garoppolo, because I saw that exact same thing from a guy who now everyone agrees with me stinks, that I have real questions. That's it. Moving on. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.